We're on the wrong side of the rock. Rob, don't stop. Remember? Remember we were in the, we were in the park and we were listening to the talking book and we were having such a nice day and that stupid fucking couple on the other side of the rock was just screaming at each other the whole time. I remember. It's all about this side of the rock. This is the side. We promised. If we ever find ourselves on that side of the rock, side of the on the shitty side of the rock, we have to promise that we'll remind each other to remember to come back to this side of the rock. This side of the rock. To our side of the rock. So this is me reminding you. I remember. I just, I just can't remember what it felt like, Rob. We built a life together. This was the real fucking deal. Lightning bolts, fireworks, electricity, magic, the whole thing. Do you, do you know that I am completely in love with you? He's gonna show me Thailand and Sydney and all those kinds of places. And when we had enough money, we were gonna move to London. So. What went wrong? Maybe there's something I forgot to mention. What are you doing here? I moved back a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> like, um, like, like backpack? Yeah, um, I was, I've been meaning to, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see you, Rob. Yeah, you too. They met in London. They moved here together. They've been together for over a year. Over a year? Are you gonna buy those records from me or what? We just broke up 13 and a half months ago. I want you to... I want you to tell me that it's not serious between you two. I want you to tell me that you haven't proposed yet. And I want that to be the truth. We suddenly heard that the world was gonna end in 24 hours. I would be choosing to spend the next 23 hours with Mac. I can't do that, Rob. Hello? Oh, hey. Hi. I thought I was going to get your voicemail. Oh, I can uh, hang up if you want. You can call back. <laughs> I just, uh... I just wanted to say happy birthday. Thank you. It wasn't your fault. I slept with someone else while we were together. Christ, bro. I was fucking. Do you know how fucking selfish you've got to be to do that? The night we fucking got engaged, was... you slept with someone else. I wasn't ready. I wasn't fucking ready. You're telling me this now. You're telling me this now, Rob. I'm getting fucking married in about two weeks. Yeah, I know you're getting fucking married. Push them away. 
pushed him away and pushed him away until he had no choice but to go away. Whatever was between me and Mac, it's, it's over, okay? It's done. Fuck you, Rob. I can't believe you still have my key. It's lucky for you. Lucky for me. I've spent the last year of my life thinking that I, I knew, I thought I knew what happened between us. Just that you fell out of love with me and you just couldn't work out how to deal with it. That's what I thought. But it feels like now, and you correct me if you think I'm wrong in any of this, is that you were in love with me and you just couldn't work out how to deal with that. <clears throat> yes, it's, it's the second one. I've been thinking, I've been thinking about that. That day when we were in the park, remember by the rock, and we promised each other. To back to our side. I thought you couldn't remember how that felt. Yeah. I'm gonna try and remember.